What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Rudy Having Fun. Today's adventure brings me to Las Vegas for the first of many videos this week around the Las Vegas area. I'm going to start this, this string, this series of videos off with a little review or I'm going to show you around the hotel and what it has to offer, what the room looks like that we're staying in and whatnot. And stay tuned for future videos where I'm going to have some fun around Vegas. All right, let's have some fun. I'd like to start out by showing you the outside of the property. This is the Caesars property located right in between Planet Hollywood and it is all also connected to the Bally's across the street from Bellagio. It has lots of entertainment, shopping, and dining locations, including the Beer Garden. This restaurant here is called the Hex, which is a kitchen and bar. And it offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as well as probably the most popular restaurant at this location, the Eiffel Tower restaurant which is literally in the tower right here with those windows on. They also have a CVS next door for any, anything you would need, including for the pharmacy uh, prescription. The Gordon Ramsay Steakhouse is another spot that's very popular. Right next to the sports book here, which this really terrible shot of the sports book I got, but it's a nice small little sports book. It also has another steakhouse on the other side of it that I did not get a shot of. It's also very popular. Here on the casino floor, we have Gustav's Bar, which is a popular spot to pick up a drink, play video poker right in the, right in the center of the casino. It also has lots of live entertainment, one of which being this stage here where they play, they have a live band, people dance on the, on the floor right in front of it. As far as shopping goes, you have the Swarovski watch store, this bougie perf perfume store. Um, across from that over here is a good spot. It's the Cafe Americano. We are able to get coffee in the morning and there's a lot of area there to sit down and dine as well, breakfast mostly. They have a really nice cigar bar if you're into that sort of thing. Underrated spot here is this ramen restaurant right across from the elevators. One of my favorites as well as this spot here which is a really good Italian restaurant called Marsh Mariano's. Yeah. I always forget Martano's. Of course, they have live entertainment here as well. These ladies are having a good time tonight. And right here, they've got the buffet. Like I just said, and currently not open, but when it is, it's a very nice buffet. Across from that is your French bakery, all kinds of goodies there. And a late night pizzeria. Pizzeria is open 24, well, almost 24 7. But that's one of the only places open after it gets dark. Napoleon's here is one of the best dueling piano bars in, on the strip, and as you can see, it's very popular. Is what the Paris is working with. It's a 
magic show, I believe. If I'm not, it's a hypnotizing show, actually. That would be cool. Oh, it's right here, right at the front. Also, in the spa, salon, fitness center, and shop. Not gonna go inside, but this is what the spa entrance looks like. They offer facials, massages, everything that a spa offers. I don't know if the sauna and whatnot's open now, but it's a very nice spa. I've been in there before. Here's your wedding chapel. Pretty much standard in any Vegas casino. Try and show you around the pool as well. It's ground level of the pool area. Not the nicest pool on the strip, but you know, it's cool. And then the room's like way up there, and we're the second to the top. Straight up there. That's pretty much all there is to see down here. They have cabanas that you can reserve, uh, how much they cost, and then the nightclubs across the way over there underneath the tower. The only other thing I'd really like to show you is I'd like to get up there in that observation deck, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. All right, and now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's see what the room looks like. 3274P is the room, right here at the front next to the elevators. <clears throat> this, is, this is what we're dealing with. Julia always gets us a suite when we come. She, you know, fortunately, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but we're big gamblers, so we do get free rooms. So I won't be able to tell you any kind of pricing or anything like that. Not even, I, I think they charge for parking. There's a resort fee, taxes. But uh, for us, because we are big gamblers, we have everything comped. Not bragging, I'm just saying. Like, I can't tell you how much it costs. Here's our view. We got a really nice view this time of the pool, the Eiffel Tower. And then across there in the distance, that's the Bellagio. And later today, we're gonna to be able to see the fountain show. It's actually every 30 minutes that fountain show goes off. So that'll be cool. You got the Cosmopolitan there to the left. So really good view this time. There it is, right on cue. There's our view of the water show at the Bellagio from our room. Can't hear the music, but and it's better at night. But there's the dancing water. All night long. All night long. Look at this little cutie. What's up, buddy? You like the water show? All right, let's see what the rest of the room looks like. Small little living room here with the TV. Nice high ceilings. Um, they got a thermostat for this room. I was noticing a little while ago, there's another thermostat in here for this room, so very easy to control the temperature. This is the bed, king size, I believe. Got a closet here with a safe. Um, this is kind of cool. Alarm clock, usual stuff. But then right here, check this out. Watch this. Oh! Fancy.
So that's kind of cool. It always trips the dog out when we turn it on. <clears throat> the bed's very nice. I've slept here many a time. Very nice soft pillows. Plenty of them. And then I'll show you the bathroom here. This closes here to shield from the sun because sometimes there's some late night activities when you're in Vegas. Sometimes you want to sleep in when the sun's blazing in the window. This is one of the bathrooms here. I guess the main bathroom, it's got a like jacuzzi tub, a little makeup counter. Um, Everything's very clean. There's your uh, bathroom. You got a little bidet here. Towels, very nice. Well, not very nice, but they're quality towels for sure. They're not rough. They don't feel like sandpaper when you're drying yourself off. The uh, soap is Royal Rose, I don't know, I've never seen that brand before, but it's pretty decent quality. Over here you got shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, shower gel. What does this say? Jose something, Jose Ibon, something like that. And then over here is like a secondary bathroom with a sink, another toilet, and then you got your shower. And that's, and then you come through here and then, oh, look, back at the back door. So it's like a little circle. So there's your room. I think I'm going to wait till the, it gets dark later tonight. I'm going to show you guys the fountain from, from the window. But, uh, yeah, there you go. That's what we're working with. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. All right, just like I promised, a night shot of the water show. Ooh. Ah. So much better at night. <laughs>